before we've been doing this. She happens to be a feminist, a performer, and for us, she's an icon. Please give it up for the one and the only Kimbra Fowler. discussion <laughs> or we were just going to dance or just hang out together here on Eldridge Street but talking to Kayvon a couple of days ago provoked a couple of uh, thoughts not that I think that often in the I summer but I, I, I got to thinking about a couple of difficult subjects one what is beautiful and two, what is funny? You. And I realized that in my life I couldn't remember what the most beautiful day of my day was. I looked back and I tried to think if I could choose what day do I remember being the most beautiful day of my life. And I think it was back when I was a kid surfing in Hermosa Beach. I got to surfing with my dad and he paddled me way out past the waterline on his surfboard with a packed lunch my mother made us. I was sitting on the tip of the surfboard. I turned around and straddled the surfboard looking at my dad with all the black cold water behind me and underneath me. I saw Catalina far away. My dad told me that Jack LaLanne used to swim to Catalina with a little boat in his teeth with 12 people sitting in the boat. That was a legend from Hermosa Beach. And I remember that day sitting with my father eating the sandwich my mother had made on that surfboard. And today, in 2016, that's one of the most beautiful things that I can remember. And I thought, is that bad that I only can think of one thing? Do I really only have one thing? I don't know if you all have a day that's the most beautiful day in your memory, but I also started to think that these days, the absence of pain and suffering is a beautiful day. Yes. And on this day, when we're all here together in our looks that we've chosen in a state of freedom, without anything too wrong happening, yet, today is a beautiful day. Yes. Woo! belies the subject matter, but I started to think, what is our comedy? Do we have comedy? Do we have favorite jokes or stand-up people in our lives? I don't identify with comedy, nor do I find many things funny. I don't remember the last time I laughed. I don't watch people doing stand-up routines. It confuses me, and I know in our culture, doing this very minimal comedic thing is very popular. But I wondered, am I missing something? Do we have someone in our lives who, who is that person who tells jokes? Or do we like to laugh? I really don't know the last time I laughed. I think it was when I saw The Exorcist again recently. <laughs> 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 shoving the crucifix in yeah. her vagina, saying, fuck me, fuck me, was very funny to me. And so my kind of humor, and I don't know if yours is as well, I like unintentional comedy. Like Jaws, I liked as well. The first time she goes under was very funny to me. 
So, um, in the spirit of Kayvon and you know our discussion and me ruminating what I was going to share with everyone tonight, I wanted to share not only the most beautiful day with you, but also the funniest story I have in my repertoire that I think is funny. I wanted to share with you. Okay, so this is what happened. I was in Miami and I was doing a performance art piece with 13 other girls of Karen Black that I had just met. We were standing in front of a black car and I stood on my head and asked one of the girls to do the thing where I shoved the crucifix into my vagina standing on my head. <laughs> The audience was all black and white, tied, blue chip, fine art people from Miami Art Basel there only by invitation. I stood on my head and one of the new girls that I just met that day proceeded to shove the crucifix into my vagina while I stuck the headstand without falling down. Instead of her stepping back and making a big voila gesture she decided to take the crucifix out and do it again. She took the crucifix out and she took, put it back in. She took it out and stuck it in. She did that about five or six times before I grabbed her ankles and pleaded for her to stop. Falling over holding the crucifix in my vagina as I fell to the floor. I grabbed the microphone, and as I pulled the cross out, I made a very loud vagina fart out of my vagina. I don't like saying the word vagina fart. I don't mind doing it. But it seems like a crass, unbeautiful combination of words. Vagina fart. Worse is pussy fart. But that's what I did, and I did it very loudly. What happened was I got on the mic, and I asked the audience, can you believe that I just, in front of this crowd, made a huge vagina fart? None of the audience had heard it. Nor did anyone care that I'd just done a big vagina fart. They were still recovering from the first part of the performance that happened almost 15 minutes before that had nothing to do with it. So, I, that's it. That, to me, is a funny story. That, to me, is a funny story. I don't know, I don't know if you all think that's funny, but that, to me, was funny. What, what is our what is our vocabulary of comedy that we have that we think is funny? What we make jokes about? Making mistakes, putting on our costumes, being late for performances and having terrible shenanigans happen to us. What is I was trying to think of what what the bits could be about if we were comedians. You know. So uh, I'm just putting that out there to everyone. Um, Anyways, um, I, there's a couple of songs I can do. Do you want to try to find the actor? Yeah. 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 Bobby in the crowd. Is Bobby yeah. out there? Yeah. And what about, like, is Bobby there? Can Bobby come forward? And let's try, um, can you see where it says Actorstocracy? Yes. Hey, Bobby. Hi. And where's a friend who's dressed in red Karen Black costume, too? Come on up.
a wonderful night, and you know, having Bobby and Nate Campbell up here has just been so wonderful here at Hitchcock Disco. Happy birthday and happy baby coming to this family. We'd like to say goodnight this evening from the voluptuous hall of Karen Black. This is Camera saying, you can do good, you can do bad, or you can do nothing. Performance. All right, Hitchcock. Now we got a.